Hello, I'm going to show you some of the differences between NS attributed strings and strings. I'm going to do that by knocking up a quick project using Xcode. So, I'll call it project, make a single view app, and create a new project. So what I'm intending to do is display some of these on labels in a storyboard view. So I'm going to put everything into a stack view to make it a little bit easier to see as we go along. So let's make it larger and pin it to the edges. And then I'm going to have a number of labels inside. Okay. There's a few. We should be able to space them out evenly. And that doesn't look too bad. I'm going to have to reference these from the view controller. So I can control drag. What am I going to call that? Strings label, maybe? The next one, we can have a attributed label. We'll have a mutable label. And we'll go into why having a mutable attributed label may be ben beneficial in a little while. So, when we run this, we're expecting to see three labels which say label on them, which isn't too exciting. And there you go, three labels with label written on them. So the first one, we're going to just put a string on there. So a string could be anything. A string, hello. And to match that string to the first label, we'll do strings label dot text equals a string. And we'd expect that, that label to say hello. Now the second one is going to be an attributed string, which means we can have attributes, which means, for instance, we can set the font. So we could have a font. Let's have something so we can actually see, very small. And then we can set the attributes which is a dictionary, so we can have many, but we'll just go for one at this time. So let small string equals. So that's a string. If I press option, we can see that's a string, so that's reassuring. But we're going to put it onto our label. So attributed label dot. Now instead of text, we've got attributed text, which should put in a nice attributed string into there. So I can just find. So you can add just a string, then it's an attributed string, or a string with attributes. And since I've laid out the attributes already, I think that makes sense. Small string and attributes. So we'd expect that to work. When we click run, we're expecting the first one to say hello, the second one to say small string, and be font size six, which I think will be quite small. And if you can see that, that reassuringly says small string. So that's good so far. Now for the third one, 
I'm going to want to put something on my mutable label. And again, I'll use attributed text. Now, a mutable label means you can change it. So, mutable string equals change my color. So you can say, So, we first set up our attributed string. So, I've called that mutable string, but guess what? When you press Option and click on it, it comes up as a string. So, we want this to actually be our mutable attributed string. So, we can use the constructor at ns attributed string. Now this constructor just takes in the string and we don't have to set the attributes yet like we did here because we can change them later. So we can say mutable mutable string dot Can I convert string to ns attributed string? So it's looking for an attributed string first. But surely there's a constructor with just a string. Right, mutable string. Do have a constructor for add attributes, so I'm not sure what I was talking about there. Uh, blue attributes, and then we can have a range, which would be an NS range. We can take it from the beginning and say two characters. So I'm hoping this will apply a blue font to the first, well, three characters, no, two characters. It starts at zero, but the length is two. Let's have a look. And of course, I haven't applied it to the label. Let's see how this one works. OK, it's applied it to the first two characters. But what if I want to add a red background? Not the best name, but still ns attributed string dot key dot and there's a background color. So I think I can apply that to my mutable string in exactly the same way. Call it ns range. Now maybe we can go from two and have a length of two it being red. So I'm expecting two blue characters, then two black characters with a red background. So that's reassuring. So there's plenty of different attributes you can add and you can change them as you go when it's a mutable attributed string. When it's just an attributed string, When it's just an attributed string, you can't add attributes as you go. And as you can see, that's actually an mutable attributed string. So let's just check this still works. So as an attributed string, 
you can't add the attributes after you've started. Of course you can't. So you have to add them in the beginning. So you have a string with attributes. And then you add them. Or you go for the NS mutable attribute of string, and then you can change them afterwards. So, as you can see, there's two different ways you might want to go about this, depending on what output you want. Okay, that's working.